Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Um, I apologize for the the issues that we had with the YouTube videos. It should be it should be all fine today. Um, just let me know if you have any problems. Um, just two things to add uh, from yesterday's video about routines. Um, you know, some of you have asked, you know, how do I? What's the best way to start? And what's the best way to change um, routines or habits? Um, the best way to start is probably two things. I've noticed that when I when I write things down, when I have to-do lists, those are the days where I actually complete them and complete them in uh, an efficient manner too. Um, it's very powerful when you write things down that you're going to do. Okay, so I would start there, but start small. Okay, I would say think bigger as far as what you want to do, but start smaller. Okay, it's more manageable. It's more, it's more likely that you'll hang on to the habit for longer. Okay, and as far as changing routines, it's hard. Okay, our bodies are and our mind is wired um, to our habits. So something that you've been doing for a while that is something that you don't want to be doing anymore, um, it's going to be tough. Um, and I would say focus more on the habit that you want than the habit that you have and eventually after time the habit that you want is going to overtake that old bad habit okay so that would that'd be two things um, today's um, response that I got from you guys is I think I just need some more healthy stress management skills or learn more about healthy eating and eating enough okay I'm just going to do the first part of that um, stress management skills and I'm going to give one specific one. It's one that I've added. I've been doing every day for the last, for over two months. And um, it's, it's had a, a severe impact on, in a positive way on, on my health. And um, I'm going to send you the links um, to this website. Um, and it comes from uh, a man named Wim Hoff. He's a... Uh, He's a very well-known man. He's basically for some challenges that he's done. He's climbed Mount Everest in uh, nothing but his shorts, uh, no shirt. Um, he's done the furthest distance swam underwater, under ice, in water. Um, he's done a ton of just cold challenges, and it talks a lot about his, bre his breathing routine that I'll I'll get into later, but. Um, the the one thing that will help with stress management is cold showers. Okay, um, you'll be able to read for yourself uh, from the link that I share with you. But just a couple benefits: uh, cold shower reduce stress levels. Um, um, it uh, has higher level of alertness. Okay, because cold showers it, it forces you to take deeper breaths, which in turn um, decreases carbon dioxide in your body okay uh, a stronger immune system uh, it's been proven that in cold showers that it increases your white blood cells um, and these type these types of bl uh, blood cells protect against disease in your body um, just increased willpower okay it's something I do it to start my day so I start my day doing something that I don't want to do because it's cold um, but you do it anyway, and that, that has a trickle effect to the, the, the rest of your day, too, the other tasks that you don't necessarily want to do, but you do anyway. Um, and then weight loss. Um, it's, it's been proven through cold showers that it increases your, your, metabolic, your metabolic rate. Okay? Um, I would encourage you to take a peek at, at the link, um, and you don't have to remember not going to tell you what to think. I'm just going to give you things to think about. Um, let me know if you try it out um, and if it's something that you're going to make a, a part of your routine too because I would encourage it. It's uh, It would be a great addition to your routine. Okay. Hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you need anything and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.